My first question will be from uh, first Kushish answer. Hi. Uh, so earlier you uh, spoke a lot about women and the stories that uh, have women. Uh, does that mean that uh, you know we can see uh, a lot of uh, uh, women centric uh, stories uh, on Amazon Prime? Absolutely, is the short answer. Uh, we we are so proud to be able to bring stories with such diverse perspectives. I know we spoke about some of them and we are here for our charge. Uh, Primary is committed to building a creative industry that is absolutely inclusive, that actually invites diverse opinions. Uh, and we are committed to making sure that great entertainment uh, remains great uh, when it is diverse and equitable. And we have storytellers of a variety of views uh, really being able to tell their stories. You know, and we want our stories, and primarily we want the stories that we say uh, to reflect the world that we live in, right? And not just one person's view, but actually everybody's view. Uh, so we have had some phenomenal shows in the past, uh, and you know, our church is a real big leap uh, when it comes to diverse storytelling, and I'm phenomenally excited, and yeah, we will continue to serve our customers with all kinds of stories in all kinds of ways. Thank you, Shama, for that lovely question. Our next mic has already been passed around. Yes, your name, please. Uh, Akriti from Absolute India News. I am. Uh, my question is for Vikram, sir. Uh, Vikram, sir. Uh, <laughs> Vikram, sir. Hi. Uh, Hi. So, Hi. Kahani or Girls Kahani, you have been championing, you know, to back such female uh, I want to ask you, is that your formula of success? <laughs> <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> Sushant in his introduction named some films that the Prime Video has recently launched. You know what swelled my heart to pride? All five of them were produced by Alan and Cherry. Yeah, yeah. uh, if it wasn't the formula for success, we wouldn't be here. If it wasn't satisfying the, the creative pursuit that we've set out on, we would be here. But most importantly, it's the ability to tell stories that are that feature strong women, that are told by strong women, and more importantly, address the women out there. And our little attempt is that if we can inspire, entertain, stimulate thought for 50% of the content consuming audience, we would have done our job and commercially viable as well. So, absolutely all ends in successful. Thank you for that, Vikram, and thank you for your question. Parul, I believe you have a microphone next to you? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, this is Parul from Zoom TV. My question is for Tanuja. In the same vein, I want to know what compels you to tell stories with such strong female characters and why you feel it's so necessary to have this representation in our industry? Where are you? Here. Yeah. Oh, okay, so sorry. So sorry. Okay. Um, this has been uh, what I've been doing right from the start of my career. Uh, it, it is it is not just it's not an agenda. It is something that I live to do. This is what I want. These are the stories I want to tell about women. Uh, and as we know, representation matters. It, it makes a huge difference to talk about uh, subjects and to talk about stories about women because a it it is an untapped treasure house of storytelling which for, for centuries has never been uh, considered important so therefore it's fresh and it's new and it's just dying these stories are dying to be told now finally after so many years i can say that you know the time has come when we can do this without a kind of a hesitation which i used to have at the start of my career where you know you always have to have a male hero along with the heroine and uh, uh, you, you know, you have a smaller budget and those days are behind us finally. So I'm, I'm, I'm extremely excited to now look forward to doing this more and more. And I mean, for me, it's just be become a, more of a passion than it was. So I've kind of grown, grown into that direction more than I ever have. So, um, and, I, and I think that um, the popularity of such stories will only further... Um, you know, make it happen more and more. So I think that, uh, you know, you tell good stories, people like them, you tell more good stories, people like them all, and I think that's how it all grows. 
But I have to say, there's still a long way to go. You know, until half the stories are not female driven, uh, don't have female directors, don't have female writers. I don't think it's an equal playing field. Until then, you know, we still have time to. But and I just want to quickly say, my team. You know, the thing is, the thing is that. It's, we are on stage, but the people that are standing, sweating on their feet morning to night is the crew. And I'm so happy to have some of them here with me because it genuinely is not possible without the most wonderful team that creates this. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for that. I believe Mike is with Pooja at this point. Yeah. Hi, Hi Pooja. Pooja, you're from Awesome TV. Firstly, congratulations to the entire team. The trailer looks simply awesome. So my question is to Karishma. Hi, you. So we see you playing golf in the series, and uh, you know, in the OTT space, we have seen some amazing, impactful golf characters that have become very popular, extremely popular. So, uh, like uh, Manoj Bajpayee from The Family Man, or Shri Pali Shah from Delhi Crime. So you, yeah, so many of them. So do you feel the pressure? No, I feel inspired. I don't feel any pressure because, um, you know, it's a direct comparison and uh, it's a very strong role. So I feel very inspired. In fact, uh, I keep watching them. I keep seeing the body language. I uh, get motivated by them. So I think it's all in the positive zone. So I'm really excited. It's a different role. It's the first time I'm playing a cop. You know, it's very important to, um, you know, have that intimidating look on your face and suit the character really well and just not play for the heck of it. So I'm very excited and taking it all in a positive zone. Thank you. My question. next question is to uh, Soha. Soha, uh, you know, yeah. so, you know uh, OTT platform has created a lot of opportunities for uh, female actors in terms of characters they portray. Do you think uh, the times have changed now? Absolutely, I think the times have changed. I don't think that um, I've seen myself, you know, a woman in her 40s represented on screen so effectively as I have. Uh, and I think that's entirely due to this platform. Um, and this, uh, you know, I think, again, like Paduja Man said, though, there's a long way to go. I do feel that the people sitting on stage are the ones doing most of the work. Um, and Abhidham Shah, for example, the Prime Video, uh, they're already leading the way. Uh, they've understood the need to tell these stories. They've understood the need to employ these actors on screen, the women uh, who are working behind the scenes, as well as understanding the women at home who are consuming the content and catering to them as well. Um, so, but I do feel that very few people, like Vikram, like Tanuja Man, like all of us on stage, I think we're just scratching the surface and we shouldn't be happy with the bare minimum. Having said that, I personally am very excited because I know uh, that, you know, perhaps Ten years ago, they wouldn't know what to do with me or, or someone in their 40s because we've always seen women as heroines or the mother of the hero. And they're like, eh, 40s, man, hang on for another 10 years, then you can take a while. You know, so at least there's something to do for us on screen. Ria, I believe you have a microphone with you. Thanks. Hello. Hi. Uh, my question is for Shamana. So as seen in the trailer, you are playing the role of a fashion designer. So how exactly did you prepare for your role and how was the overall experience? You know, the, the interesting part is that I have always been... Uh, when I was growing up, I had very little idea true about fashion. And then at some point, closer to the present day, the last, I would say, four or five years, I've actually been very interested in fashion thanks to uh, you know, the business, friends, certain people. And so it was nice for me for a change to play a character that I already had some um, interest, I mean, a, an area that I already had some interest and knowledge about. But I think it was more, uh, I think for me it was nice because it's a different outlet to being a creative, right? So we are all, let's say, in the creative business and the performance art, but um, designing, fashion designing is also an expression of oneself and, uh, you know, in the show as well, her journey has a lot to do with that being an expression of her and how as an artist that's something that changes over a period of time and it is a reflection of who you are and sometimes, uh, you know, you're changing and your work also changes with it. So that was something that was uh, nice and also I think the way in which um, uh, Tanuja had designed 
the character in terms of her look, in terms of the way uh, she relates to it, the history of the character, all of that was uh, already there. I always say that, I mean, I don't know what to say, but I have to say that as actors, when the script is good, when the characters are good, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything. We have to do anything. We have to do anything. Then we are just putting life into what is already there. And that's kind of the project that you know you 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 have you come into that world of the sets that are created, the costumes that you're wearing, the hair and makeup that is done, the history that's put into your character, and all you have to do is just feel, just feel it. That's all you have to do. Just feel it. And like I said, the added advantage was that I was already interested in things uh, in fashion, and I could appreciate the bits and pieces of um, of it that were related to fashion specifically. Thank you. I think Aditi, you might have a mic now. Yeah. I have the mic. Yes. Hi, I'm Aditi. I'm from Times of India, E-Times. My question is for Aisha, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Aditi, this side. I'm here. Oh, oh hi. Second. Oh, hi, sir. Yeah, so I absolutely love the trailer of Ashash. Congratulations for your digital debut. You. This is a women-centric series, so I want to know from you, what was your experience working with a show which had all women working in the cast on and off screen? I think I couldn't be prouder than this. <laughs> because I have, I really strongly feel that uh, women have uh, the ability and the power to do a lot more than we actually are doing. I still feel that I have the power to do much more. She has the power to do much more. So it, we just always hungry for, you know, and we are, more, we are open to more challenges. And we, I, I just feel that it, I've been very, very lucky. मेरी डायरेक्टर मुझे कभी नहीं छोड़ेगी नींद में भी आ जाती है बताने के लिए कि ये ऐसे करना ये ऐसे बोलना सो बट यस अब इस सीरीज की बात करें तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि आई 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 रियली लकी टू बी डायरेक्टेड बाय अ वूमन डायरेक्टर फर्स्ट टाइम इन माय टाइम ऑफ रियल टाइम लाइफ ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री इयर्स दैट I've in fact been there for 30 years and I've not been working for the last couple of years. So, she's my first woman director. I'm in love with her because she has actually made me realize that the potential that I have inside me, which I didn't know. I didn't know that I could do this. And she's made me do things that uh, I think only a woman could have done. I'm not saying that the men directors are, have been, you know, not doing a great job, but I just feel that she could understand the depth of it. She could understand how I would be able to perform. And I think it was so easy when she would explain certain things. Maybe as a woman she felt that exactly and I felt that exactly and it came out beautifully. The entire cast has been phenomenal. And because we are only talking about women, I don't want uh, Vikram to feel that there is another Jagreka Jad here. So we are only talking about women. We ask for that. It's been lovely working with all these girls, especially Tanna Ji. <laughs> because it was like we really, really used to have a lot of fun um, on set all the time. Even though we were into something really serious, serious work and everything. But we always had a lot of fun. It was just a phenomenal experience. I just can't say more. I think you need to really see. I, there's nothing more to say here. It needs Thank to be seen you. now. Thank you for that 